it's a connection between two very different things. Symmetries in geometry, I mean, people are probably familiar if you take a circle, you can rotate it through any angle and it looks the same. Mm -hmm. So there's the symmetries in, in, in geometry that people are familiar with. Also in the study of integers, whole numbers, it turns out there are different sorts of symmetries. Mm -hmm. And then there's some connection between them which is highly non-obvious. And it means you can take problems in one area of mathematics and translate them in, when you can prove these conjectures, you can translate them into the other and they become much, much easier. So the most famous example was Andrew Wiles's proof of um, Fermat's last theorem, where in fact he, what he proved was a special case of Langland's conjectures, but then you could use this to take the problem in number theory, Fermat's last theorem, which had been unsolved for 350 years. You translated it into something about geometric symmetries, which was easy to solve. I mean, a graduate student could have done that problem in 10 minutes, so that that's not the problem. But this dictionary is so powerful that you translate the hard problem into a really easy problem. This polymath project projects this idea that you get a collaboration of lots of mathematicians using the internet to try and solve problems. So far they've attacked a very specific sort of problem, which I think probably not the most interesting, whether you can sort of see a strategy and you can a lot of little things need doing, and of course a lot of people collaborating would work well on something like that. But still the, uh, the most exciting developments in mathematics are usually one person, maybe two people, who suddenly see something in a completely different way. And that's not a function of a large collaboration, it's a function of somebody having a breakthrough idea. Well, I suppose I'd most like to, to prove completely prove the Langman's conjectures. That's, that's what I've uh, devoted my professional life to.